All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. I am sorry I have been absent for months. <laughs> okay, I've been working, all right? So anyway, uh, give me a break, and let's get back to some tutorials here. Um, uh, in response to a viewer, a subscriber, uh, talking about terrains, there's a million different ways to create a terrain in Maya. And, you know, accurate terrain modeling is all based on what kind of, you know, input information you have. And in this case, I have a height map um, that I'm using uh, to make a displacement or, in this case, a soft modification, sort of. So I'm going to show you a quick technique about how to sort of take some data and make a, a nice landscape that um, is, you know, somewhat physically accurate. All right. And um, don't forget... Go to my website every now and then. Um, over in the deep node, I have a bunch of tutorials I'm posting. And this site might run a little slow. I don't know. It's sluggish. I don't know if I designed it right or not. But <laughs> anyway, you can donate like a dollar or something like that. And this will get you access to any of these um, tutorials that I have posted here. And a lot of them have to do with terrain and, you know, some some doing some approximation and, and using some image-based lighting and IBL stuff and some, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, these are downloadable. So just click on them, right mouse click and save target as. Anyway, um, so just download them. Just don't upload them, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a bonus for donating to my cause. Um, yeah, so that'll help me out. So anyway, there you go. Anyway, let's get let's get on with uh, this terrain. Um, I'm going to show you kind of in Photoshop where I started. And here is the Laguna Beach, r roughly where I live. And this is the terrain. And I got this from some um, a DEM information or a digital elevation model, um, you know, picture or image. It's basically a height map, black to white, black meaning the lowest point, white meaning the highest. And you can see here where I have this one is a grayscale. It's been modified. And the original that I started with was this TIFF image up here. And you can see where it's a lot brighter in the highlight areas and the whites. And I basically came in and decided that the best way to do this with this method is to just sort of, you know, darken that up a bit. Maybe increase your contrast or pull down your brightness level in Photoshop. Okay. Um, so in this case, I think I just came in and did an image adjustment of brightness. And I think I just brought the brightness down a little bit. And um, I think I also did, I may have done a, a level adjustment where I just brought that down a little bit like that. Okay. So that was kind of, kind of what I was working with. All right. So anyway, but you'll notice that this one's a TIFF. And with this method, we're going to talk about TIFFs do not work very well at all. And you'll see why. Um, this one's a modified one. And this is the PNG. And PNGs are actually your much better bet. Okay, so I'm going to hide Photoshop for a second here. We'll go back into Maya. And in this case, I'll just, I'm going to go to, we'll hide this one for this for the moment. And I think I have a, a light on here. It's just a directional light. I'm just going to delete that. And go to your renderer. Just put on high quality rendering. Put your lights. Your textures aren't going to make a difference because we're just going to make a plane. So let's just create a quick plane. I'm going to create a plane. Let's just make one right there. And I think I might go over here and I might pick this plane shape right here and take our subdivisions, maybe just do 50 and 50 on the subdivisions. And in this case, my image is a little bit more of a rectangular shape. So I'll just bring that out a little bit and that should pretty much do it. Okay. And we might as well create a light at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a directional light just so we can see the train a little better. I'm going to bring that guy up. I might scale it up a little bit. So we'll scale this guy up and, and maybe just sort of do its position so it's kind of downward and a little bit like that. I don't know. No big deal. Okay, so now we have the basics of what we need to, to start doing some quick terrain work. And it with this method, it's really easy. All you got to really do is just select your plane area. You want to be in your surfaces menu set and come over to your edit NURBS, come down to sculpt geometry tool, and hit your options. And that's going to bring up all the options for the sculpt geometry tool. 
In this case, we want to be on this pull option right here. So, you know, we want it to kind of pull the surface out. And we do have a max displacement here. I've got mine set at 2.9. Um, this is going to be a variable along the way, and I'll show you this real quick. Let's just bring this up to say like something like 4, roughly 4. I don't care. And the important thing here is to come down into your um, drop downs, come to your import options here, and we're going to assign this a map or an image. And I'm going to go ahead and import an image. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here into what I've got uh, where I have that image. And right here is where I have those images that I was working with. And we'll uh, bring in the grayscale first as a TIFF. Okay? I just want to show you this real quick. I'm going to hit open. And right away, you can see what the TIFF does. <laughs> you know? It, it gives you this really ugly, you know, sort of surface. And, and it's not really terrain-like. So I'm going to go ahead and just, just undo that. Okay? We'll go back to a flat plane. And let's come back into our import options now. And let's take a look at our grayscale adjusted um, PNG, our modified PNG, which was that one right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And you can see where, you know, it did. It's looking like a terrain. Now, it came in um, not quite in the orientation that I wanted. So I might, in this case, just sort of, you know, you know sort of like readjust my plane there a little bit. And of course, this isn't smoothed out yet. So if I just hit number three on the keyboard and smooth it out a little bit, now I have, you know, kind of that terrain looking like what it should look like. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. If I move my light around here a little bit, we might be able to see it a little better. There it is. Okay. So the more divisions you put in your surface, um, you know, the more accurate your surface will probably be but with the png it works a heck of a lot better than it does with a tiff okay so that's one way to create just sort of a you know a, a terrain really quickly based on some information that you might have gotten from uh gotten from a dem um you know a digital elevation model uh, file okay so anyway that's it. Uh, pretty easy stuff here. Um, nothing too complicated, but just sort of a different way to make, um, you know, your terrain. Now, remember, your variable here is, what is it? It's that, uh, let's go back into our, our tool here. Right now, I'm at my scale tool, which I don't want. I'm going to go ahead and get on my, my uh, sculpt geometry tool right here. Make sure I'm there. My max displacement is at 3.9. Let's whack this thing out. Um, let's come back here and go to edit, and let's do a couple of undos, all right? I'm just going to do a couple undos there. We'll go all the way back to kind of where we started. All right, Command-Z, Command-Z, Command-Z. There's kind of where we started. So. I'm going to go ahead and, and mess around with this max displacement and set this up to, like, say, something like 10. Okay? And, you know, you can't vary this displacement. You always have to, like, change your displacement first and then import your map. Okay? This doesn't work um, after you've already assigned the map there. So I'll go to import. We'll go to that PNG again. I'm going to hit open. And you can see where, you know, now we have, you know, a max displacement of 10. We have much more stuff going on here at the bottom than we do at the top. All right. So we could mess with that by just using the scale tool, and we can scale it either up or down, you know, and we can bring it out to something like it, what it might look like or, you know, be a little bit more representational. And there it is, okay? That's kind of the terrain I know. I live down here. You are here, <laughs> okay? So anyway, there you have it. Um, a real quick tutorial um, about doing some quick terrain. So sorry I've been out of it, and thanks for watching. And as, as always, read a book, um, you know, and be a good person every day because we're counting on it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.